In this video, we'll be looking at um, solving multi-step linear equation. Now, the old idea of linear equation is to find the value of the unknown. Now, when you have an expression, what we need to do is to ensure that all the, all the variables are on one side of the equation and then all the numbers are on the other side. So finally, you express uh, the variable in terms of numbers. So let's solve the first problem on the board. Now, in this problem, we need to remove the bracket as the first thing to do. So if I say 3 times 2x will give us 6x, so 3 times plus 1 will give us a plus 3, equal 21. Now, I want to find the value of the unknown. So I don't want plus 3 to be on this side, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. If I do that, 3 minus 3 will be 0, so I have 6x equal 21 minus um, 3 will give me 18. Now, if I divide both sides by 6, x, uh, 6 comes to 6, so x will be equal to 18 divided by 6, and we get 3. Now, if you want to run a check, it's just to plug in the value of x into this expression. So if you plug in, x is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 times 3 will give you 21. Let's solve the second problem. Now, I'm going to remove the brackets, so that's the first thing to do. 2 times 3x will give me 6x. 2 times minus 1 will give me minus 2. Equal. 4 times x will give me 4x. 4 times plus 3 will give me plus 12. Now, I want to strike a balance. I want the variables on one side, the numbers on, on the other side. So precisely, I want my variables to be on the left-hand side and then the numbers on the right-hand side. Now, I have, a, I have a minus 2 here. And I don't want minus 2 to be here, so I'll, I'm going to add 2 to both sides of the equation in order to strike a balance. Now, if I add 2 to both, if I if 2 is added to both sides of the equation, um, minus 2 plus 2 will give me 0. So my new expression becomes 6x equal um, 4x um, plus 12 plus 2 will give me plus 14. The next thing to do is that I don't want 4x to be on this side. The whole idea is that variables on one side, numbers on the other side. So I want this to be on the other side of the equation, that on the left, on the left hand side. So what I need to do here is to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. If I do that, 6x minus 4x will give me 2x equal 4x minus 4x is 0, so I have plus 14. So if I divide both sides by 2, x times 2x, then um, x will be equal to 14 divided by 2, and we get 7. Now let's solve the third problem. Now in the third problem, what we need to what you need to understand is if you have 3 quarter x, for instance, this means 3 over 4 times x over 1, which is 3x over 4. Now if you have um, 3 over 4 into bracket x minus 1. So this simply means 3 over 4 times x minus 1 over 1. If I do that, my expression will be 3 into bracket x minus 1 over 4. It will be in this form. So now um, let's look at this. So the first thing you need to do when you have an, an equation like this, now let's take this to this form, 3 into bracket x minus 1 over 4, then I have a plus 1 equal 4. The next thing to do, I will see all of this as one term. So the next thing to do is to strike a balance by adding, that by subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. If I do that, minus 1, minus 1, 1 minus 1 is a 0. So my new expression becomes 3. Okay, I can open up the bracket. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times minus 1 will give me minus 3 over 4 equal uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. 3, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now the next step is to cross multiply. If you watch my previous video on one step and two step equation, you understand this. Um, so you cross multiply. If you do that, my new expression becomes 3x minus 3 equal 4 times 3 is 12. Now, I want to find the value of the unknown. So, I want all the numbers to be on the 
other side of the equation. So what I need to do is to add 3 to both sides. If I do that, um, this is 3x. A minus 3 plus 3 will give me a 0. So equal, I have three, 12 plus 3 I'm going to get 15. So to find the value of the unknown, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. X cancel, uh, I'm sorry, 3 cancel 3. X equal 15 divided by 3 will give me 5. This is the next problem. Um, I need to open up the bracket. The first thing I need to do, I need to bring down 4x. So I'm going to bring down 4x. I open up the bracket. Minus 2 times x will give me minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 1 will give me plus 2. Equal. 5 times x will give me 5x. So I'm going to write 5x. 5 times plus 3 will give me plus 15. Then I have a plus 5. Now the next thing I need to do is to you know, let me reduce, let me uh, reduce the equation. So 4x minus 2x will give me 2x, and I have a plus 2 equal, um, this is 5x, um, 15 plus 5 will give me um, 20 plus 20. Now the next thing I need to do here is I want to strike the balance. I want all the, all the variables on one side and then all the numbers on the other side of the equation. So what I need to do here I will subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. If I do that, 2 minus 2 is 0. So I have 2x here equal um, 5x um, 20 minus 2 will give me plus 18. Now the next thing I need to do, I don't want the variables to be here. All the variables on one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. So 2x minus 5x will give me minus 3x equal 5x minus 5x is 0, so I have a plus 18. Now the next thing to do is to divide through by negative 3, by negative 3. So minus 3 cancel minus 3, so I have x equal plus minus will give me minus, so 18 divided by 3 will give me 6. So that is my answer. So this is how to solve a multi-step um, linear equation. So you can always subscribe on my channel, OG's Wealth and Math. Send, share my link with people and have a nice, have a wonderful day.